let's talk about the the what the so the quote unquote Trump tax cuts. Those are scheduled to expire at the end of 2025, at the end of next year. If Congress doesn't do anything, they're going to expire. So they have to act to keep those where they are right now. And this kind of blends into what I want to talk about uh, as well. Change is coming to 2025. But let's first address um, those tax cuts. If they don't do anything, taxes are automatically going to go up. Absolutely. So, so they go up across the board. Um, corporate America um, taxes go up for the small business people like myself, right? Because we lose some of those tax write-offs there, some of the tax brackets there. For the individual taxes go up across the board. All the tax brackets go back to where they were in 2017. So, you know, most people are going to find more of their money in a higher tax bracket, not just marginally more, but significantly more. So it's a pretty big tax step up for most people. Um, we're seeing 20, 25% increase in your taxes uh, for, for some people. I, I think the biggest thing that people aren't paying attention to and, and I, I know when I say this out loud, it's it's, it's kind of interesting what rich means to people, right? Mm. Am I rich or am I not rich? Mm. And, and most people that I meet don't think they're rich, but by definition, yeah, they right. are, right? So so if you have a million dollars of assets, you're deemed rich. Now, I, I recognize you don't feel rich and you don't act rich, um, but the government thinks you're rich and half your neighbors think you're rich. Um, and and here's the reality. If you're roughly 60, 65 years old and between your house and life insurance and investments, you're worth three million roughly. Believe it or not, effective 2026. So starting at January 1st, 2026, mm -hmm. you have an estate tax problem. And, and what I mean by that is right now, you could pass roughly $13.5 million. It's a little bit more than that, but you could pass roughly $13.5 million. You can give it away while you're alive or it can pass when you're dead. But if you do that before 2026, the first $13.5 million of your estate goes estate tax-free. Now, above that, it's draconian, right? So they're going to take 30%, 40 50% right off the top past that. And Maryland, huh, God bless Maryland, Maryland likes to tax – the right for you to give your money away, but Maryland <laughs> also, for some people, likes to tax the right to get money that was given away. So yeah. not only can I, uh, not only will Maryland charge some people, and about a half a dozen states do this. Uh, there's an estate tax, which is the right to give your money to somebody at death, but there's also a, an inheritance tax for some people. The right to inherit money is taxed as well. So you know, you, you get hit by the state, you get hit by the federal, you get hit by the state a second time, and don't forget, there's income taxes on top of all that for some of this money that's coming in. So it's tax, 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 tax. And in 2026, that tax rate goes from 13.5 plus down to about mm, somewhere between six and seven million um, based upon inflation rates, right? So all of a sudden, if you're three million to, to talk, if you have $3 million today, 10 years from now, that three million is worth six. Mm. 10 years later, it's worth 12. Well, at six million, you have an estate tax issue. At twelve, you're getting crushed in estate taxes, and you have basically until the end of twenty five to take advantage because you can protect thirteen point six million today. If you wait to January twenty twenty six, you're hosed, and yeah. the tax forty percent. So imagine if you're worth that twenty million that I threw out there. Uh, you know, if you're worth twenty million and fifteen million of it's taxed at forty percent, you gave up six million dollars because you failed to plan. That's insane. And, and again, if you're working with an advisor or you have an estate plan and you're working with an attorney or if you have a CPA or some sort of person talking about taxes to you and they're not discussing this with you, it's like, what the F is going on? You need to be paying attention to these tax rates right now. And quite frankly, I mean, if you're 40, 50 years old, you know, if you're your age or maybe even into your 60s and your parents are still alive at, you know, 75, 80 years old, you have an incredible opportunity for the assets that you personally own today to be able to get a huge step up to take advantage of few tax rules because you know what? One of the things they're talking about doing in 2026 is getting rid of the step up in basis for inherited assets. Mm. We'll take advantage of it now. Get those rules taken advantage today. And it all starts by picking up the phone and giving us a call at 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040. Sit down with Ryan and myself on, and our team, and we'll show you how to create income streams you'll never outlive. We'll talk to you about the fees you're paying, the risk you're taking, long-term care estate planning. And folks, 
taxes. I mean, I can't stress how important taxes are for people, and they're ignoring it. They don't get the advice from the current advisory team. It's not my job, man. They don't get it from their CPA. They're historians that put numbers on a page based on last year. The, 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 the attorneys, the attorneys are not proactive, not pro, not looking forward either. They're afraid to, to, to reach out and talk to you because all of a sudden now I'm advertising and marketing mm-hmm. Jason Klein. They don't like to do that. They feel as it's, 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 it's beneath them. I, I don't know why they're not taking advantage of this. There is a huge opportunity for you, our listener, for you, the investor, to protect yourself from the increases in taxes from an estate planning point of view to from increasing taxes from an Irma and Roth conversion and tax efficiency point of view, from capital gains. There's so many things you need to do over the next 14 months to make sure that you're prepared for the worst case scenario, which is entirely possible that's going to happen effective January 1st. And it all starts by picking up the phone, 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040. Make sure to take advantage of that right now, 866-597-1040. As Mike said, you got about 14 months uh, left to take advantage of probably the most, you know, the lowest tax environment uh, in our generation 866-597-1040 and online at the savvy investor radio.com. Again, that's the savvy investor radio.com front page tax analysis button. And that'll get you a quick 15 minute phone conversation with Mike, with Ryan, with the team at pro status and here on the savvy investor radio. Uh, another change. I, I want to get to this. Um, that's coming up in 2025 uh, regarding uh, our 401ks is the catch up contributions uh, for people 60 uh, to 63, Mike. Um, you talked about what we can do now in these 24 months to help reduce taxes in the future um, if they don't change the tax codes um, coming up at the end of 2025. For those that are playing catch up, you've mentioned this before, and I want to dig into this a, a little bit, that it's not that, that that we saved. It's not that we did a bad job of saving, but we're we, saving in the wrong spot. We're maybe saving in the wrong we spot. saved in the wrong spot. So what so what do we do? Do, do we save? Do we catch up in our 401ks or is there a better place to catch up? Well, it's a better place is all kind of relative, right? Uh, if, if you Google what are rich people doing, right? And mm-hmm. even though we, sit, we might not think we're rich, if you Google what rich people are doing, rich people understand the benefits of all arbitrage, right? When when Elon Musk bought Twitter, he did not sell $40 billion of Tesla stock. He borrowed money against it. Well, the problem is, is you can't borrow money in a 401k. You can't borrow money in a Roth. They keep changing the Roth rules on us. So if you want to be tax efficient, if you want to pay attention to the rules, if you want to understand the best place to put your money going forward, it can't all go into a traditional tax-free, tax-deferred account. You have to think outside the lines. You have to do... You have to do what the Phil Knights are doing in the world. So you have to take advantage of the rules out there and find alternative places where you can grow your money at reasonable rates of return and you can get it out tax free for you. You get out tax free for your kids. And if you do it correctly, you get it out tax free for your grandkids. So you can do three generations of tax planning just by following the rules. The problem is, the problem is, is that nobody wants to talk about tax planning because it's not my job. So absolutely, there's some great rules. Instead of it being, you know, 7,000 for catch up, you know, if you're 60 to 63, you can go to, you can go to 10,000. I mean, so it's a pretty big bump, mm-hmm. but. But if you're already getting 100% of your match and you're not getting additional tax write-offs for your for your, um, your your contributions, or if you're putting money into a Roth 401k, maybe it's time to sit down with a team like Ryan and myself and, and have us show you how to create additional. Everybody understands the the concept of diversifying your 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 stock market accounts, right? So you're, all your money's not exposed to. You don't buy nothing but Tesla or nothing but Northrop Grumman or, or, or nothing but the S and P 500. You diversify your investments if you're smart, right? We all know that. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Some guy won a Nobel Prize for saying, "Don't put all your eggs." In in one basket, right? I keep I, I keep recommending my grandfather. He told me very young, never fry bacon naked. He just doesn't make the cut. I don't know why. I think he deserves a Nobel Prize for that as well. But if you understand the concept of diversifying your investments along non-correlated asset classes to reduce your risk and increase your overall rate of returns, how come it doesn't make just as much sense to diversify your tax-free buckets of money? And that's what you should be thinking about uh, today, that's what you should be thinking about tomorrow. And quite frankly, that's what you should be thinking about for the next 13 months, not 14 months, because by the time we get to December of 2025, it's too late it's to fix these problems. You're over. You're stuck with whatever you did. And then you're just holding your breath, holding, hoping and hoping and hoping and praying that they don't hose us in 2026. And you know what? You ask me for my prognosticator I mean, and my crystal ball and all that type of stuff. I'm pretty sure we're going to get hosed to 2026 no matter what. No matter which way you cut it, they're going to hose us. 
all to make a political point of some sort, right? If Trump's elected, the Democrats will poo-poo everything so Trump can't get a win. And if Kamala wins, the Republicans will poo-poo stuff so she can't get a win. So either way, we as the consumer, we as American, we as middle America, we as the taxpayer, we are getting hosed, which is why you have to take advantage of the rules today. 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040. And online at the SavvyInvestorRadio.com. Again, that's the SavvyInvestorRadio.com. If you've saved 500000 or more for retirement, congratulations. Now is your time. You've heard Mike talk about what's going on right now, and you have a limited amount of time, about a year left, to take advantage of the lowest tax rates in our generation. You can do that today. You can start making a, a, a dent on that right now at the SavvyInvestorRadio.com. Click on the tax analysis button. That'll get you a quick 15-minute phone conversation with Mike and the team at ProStatus and, of course, here on the Savvy Investor Radio. Or if you want to go old school and you want to call, you can do that right now. We've got teammates standing by right now to take your call, 866-597-1040, 866 597 But, Mike, you were wrong on one thing. There's one guy who cares. And his name is hashtag tax master Mike. Hashtag tax master. Hashtag here, write that down. Hashtag tax master Mike. Mike Kinnett, of course, because in your book, which I've got right here, nothing is certain but death and taxes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip over to page 15. You've, uh, you've written here. How can a person provide investment advice without actually understanding the tax implications on that advice? And if you call today, if you set up an appointment with Mike and the team. They're going to get you a complimentary copy of that. If you want to read it right now, you can go uh, on Amazon and uh, and get that uh, for you. But we're running out of time, Mike. Um, thanks again for your time, for your passion, for helping us uh, each and every week here on the Savvy Investor Radio, the podcast, the YouTube page, uh, and all that good stuff. Like, subscribe, check it all out, uh, and, and follow Mike and the team and get some great retirement advice. Mike, as always, appreciate you. Love you, man. Uh, but as always, you get the final word. This is Mike Kinnett. Thank you for listening to the Savvy Investor Radio. We will see you, the Savvy Investor, next week.